what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial now if you're new to web development let me just quickly show you what is html programming language so let's say that you open up your browser and you would type in any website that you want in this case i'm just going to type espn.com and you go anywhere on a page and you just right click it and you click on inspect and you'll see a mumbo jumbo gibberish jumping out and that actually mumbo jumbo is actually html and actually it's very easy however it's very important because it's responsible for structure of any website that you ever visited and therefore if you want to create amazing websites on your own or you want to want to become a web developer it's essential that you would learn the html now to give you a different perspective imagine that if you would want to build a house you would always need to build a frame of the house first. You cannot build a house without a frame. So the HTML works the same way. In order to, for you to create a website, it doesn't matter how sophisticated it would be eventually, first you would always have to use the HTML to actually build the structure of your website. Now a little bit of the boring theory, HTML is made up of HTML elements. And HTML elements consists of opening tag and a closing tag however some elements would have only one tag now the tag wouldn't be show on a page however tag is telling what type of element it is so let's say that you wanted to add an image to your page or you wanted to add a form to your page or you would want to add a heading to your page you get an idea you would first need to create a tag name and then within that tag whatever you would write actually browser would actually display that on a page and all html really is is just a bunch of elements stacked together in order to follow this course you will need a text editor now there's obviously many text editors that you get but the most popular pro probably one is the notepad plus plus however remember that if you're using mac you won't going to be able to use notepad plus plus now I'm going to be using brackets and I suggest you do the same because in my opinion it has a lot a lot of features especially for somebody who's just starting out and actually makes your learning curve much more smaller and it's also free so we don't need to waste any money. Now there's a couple of other options like Text Wrangler or Sublime Text or Visual Studio so you can get any of those but I would really suggest using the brackets. You will also need a web browser to follow this course and by default brackets come with uh, Google Chrome so you'll probably need to do that. But either way even if you don't want to have the brackets or don't want to have a Google Chrome you should have a text browser otherwise you won't going to be able to see what have you have built. And now if you want to follow along I'm going to go and actually download the brackets text editor. Now let's open our web browser and right away in a Google I'm just going to type brackets text editor or you can just type brackets and right away the first link it's going to be brackets io so we just click it over here and you can see over here the download now if you want to check it out how the brackets look like you can see over here in this picture and you can see that it has a very simple however very sleek uh, interface right so it's very very good if you're starting out you have a lot of options how you can actually how it can speed up your work now I'm just gonna go over here and press download brackets IO. So fire up your text editors and I'll see you in the next video.